Welcome to our personalized detox webinar. We're so happy that you're here. We have people from all over the world who are coming to learn all about personalized detox. This is a whole new way of detoxing, something that you haven't heard before. And today, you're going to learn how you can do your very, very own detox at the comfort of your own home. And then later on today, you're going to have the opportunity to join in with our online community and be able to have loads of support with our personalized Facebook group. And for those of you who love to get together with people around the world, who love to travel to locations like Thailand or Croatia, Mexico, Portugal, Bali, those sorts of places, you're going to have the opportunity to hear about that too. Um, first of all, we're going to learn all about the science and nutrition about personalized detox and how there is a correct protocol for your body, specifically for you. And you may even begin to think of detoxing as fun. And for sure, you're going to find that the results of these detoxes are highly effective, super invigorating for your body, and such a loving way for you to say thank you to this body that has served you for all these years and that works for you 24 hours a day. So uh, first of all, uh, we are going to be having the opportunity to uh, meet up with uh, Cameron, Dr. Cameron McDonald. He is uh, the Director of Nutrition for PH360. He's highly recognized in the nutrition field in Australia and around the world. And we are very fortunate to have him as our Director of Nutrition. So I'd love to bring on Cameron, uh, Dr. Cam, as being our first uh, guest. Are you here, Cam? G'day, Jules. How are you There you are. Beautiful. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you for being here. It's awesome to be here. Yes. And so we'd really love for you to give people the background on what they can expect in their personalized detox. Okay. Well, firstly, um, the detox is a, is a really cool experience. It's one of those things that isn't uh, always prescribed uh, so specifically to you. Uh, in fact, um, the big thing about what you're going to experience on the detox is that there is actually a way of uh, detoxifying your body and resetting your organs and systems in a way that's specific to your body. Uh, and in that way, it's going to help you feel like you a lot faster. Uh, rather than just applying a, uh, a standard kind of detox protocol that you might see at, at different places uh, where you're kind of, your body's being forced to do a certain thing, uh, this is very much designed to work with your body. So at the end of it, and even during, uh, depending on, on uh, how you start, um, you very much feel like you rather than uh, something's just being done to you and your body's being forced somewhere where that's not, not as pleasant. So uh, the, the background very much is about just restoring your body uh, and allowing it to have a rest, just like you need a, a rest after you run a marathon or do some weights. Uh, your body also needs a rest from the, the rigors of stress, whether it be uh, nutrition that you're consuming that's not ideal or it could be the stress uh, emotionally that you're experiencing at work or in relationships uh, all of your systems are linked so when you actually do a, a, a detox like we're talking about obviously there's a, a fairly uh, strong nutrition focus in all of this uh, but what you'll see with all of it as well is that there is other factors that need to be detoxed at the same time you need to be doing some stretching you need to be calming your mind down you need to be decluttering and detoxifying all of your tissues and when you do that in a way that's specific to you it makes a huge difference to the way your body responds well, that's great. We all know that people in general each have their own personalized uh, foods uh, from what we've learned in PH360. And um, I just wondered if you could talk a little bit about the differences in the foods that people would expect as they were on the detox. Cool. So uh, the big differences, I guess, one of the beautiful things about PH360 and the way the research has been put together over, over the time that it has with the numbers of people that it has, uh, you start to see these incredible drivers of health. And so each body has a slightly different driver based on how it developed in the embryo, uh, based on how the genes are set up and the, and the environment that was surrounding that body as it developed. And so much so that we have um, 
opposite sides of the circle, uh, which is the beautiful part of pH and symmetry, is that we have uh, almost completely opposite things that we're trying to do. Um, so as far as when we start talking about an endomorph, for example, we know that their digestive system has a huge influence. Uh, their metabolic organs generally have a huge influence on their body, their liver, their pancreas, their gut. And so uh, the detoxification is very much designed to give that system a rest and to clear that, they clear that system out. Um, and I know there's going to be a lot of detail on the, on the type of uh, food that you're going to require. But generally, the goal for the, the guardian is to give the body a complete rest, particularly focusing on the digestive organs, the liver, the pancreas, so that it can really reset. And one of the fascinating things about this is um, uh, the guardian typically is a very nurturing body uh, with a, a real um, generous, I guess, driver of I want to, I want to give to others. And uh, what's fascinating is that in a time of stress, that body will accumulate fat tissue to protect their culture or their family when uh, they're about to uh, experience famine or stress. And so when that famine comes along, or in, in this case, uh, a detoxification or fast comes along, their body actually improves in health uh, without food uh, and, with, and with much simpler ingredients. And that's one of the really fascinating parts of how that uh, endomorphic or guardian body works. We look at the opposite of that, uh, we have a body that's not as resilient. Uh, we talk about the sensor here. Um, you know, obviously they're going to, they have a, a completely different physiology. They don't have that reserve. And so what they're going to experience is uh, things that support the tissues that are important to them. And for a sensor or an ectomorph, we're very much looking at um, the brain and supporting the brain function and not restricting food too much uh, for too long a period because that body is just not designed for going a long period in famine. It's designed to have regular fuel intake throughout the day. And so the detoxification is quite fast and uh, is focused on supporting the brain function while that's happening as well, because that's the important organ for that body. We then have well, a mesomorph Cameron, to take it to the triangle. Sorry, Jules. Uh, Dr. Cam, there are some of the people that are out there right now that this is really fascinating and that you're sharing about health types. And just for those of you who haven't had the experience of learning what your health type is, you can go to www.healthtypetest.org and you can get your very own health type in there. And that's what Dr. Cam's talking about now. So I just wanted to give them all that update so they could get out there and get their own health type if they don't have it yet. All right. right Back Thanks, on. Here we go. Cool. Great. So, uh, so what we've spoken about, the first one is, is the endomorphic body. Typically, that body is thicker in mass, thicker in tissue, um, has, is able to accumulate mass more easily, both fat and muscle and bone. And then we have the sensor, who is the tiniest body, the most delicate skeletal structure. And the way they develop is with a very powerful brain. And then we have uh, the third major category. And obviously, there's, there's many, many categories. We're not summarizing everyone into three, but just to give you a bit of an understanding. We have uh, the, the mesomorph or the activator, which is the pure uh, meso, uh, and they've got a body that is designed to uh, normally eat quite a bit of meat, uh, normally uh, digest a lot of food through the day, and sometimes it's about giving that body a break, allowing that body to uh, clean itself up, and one of the places uh, that it does that is by dropping some of those foods to make sure that the body can fully reset. The big driver with the, uh, the mesomorph is to be full on and then to rest. And so normally their diet is full on and they're having lots of food and this is about uh, reducing that down to give uh, some really important organs some rest, allow the joint inflammation to decrease and just for them to feel a whole lot uh, cleaner and more agile, more nimble and, and ready for action. Well, that's great. And there's uh, so many people that, um, you know, food is such a big role in health. So what are some of the signs or the symptoms that you've seen out there and your experience that would allow someone to know, wow, maybe I should consider doing a detox? Cool. So uh, what I'll do is I'll go through, um, it's probably easier if I just go through uh, each biotrend. Obviously, you can, or biotype, you can go and check that out looking at, um, if we start at the beginning again with the guardians, uh, often what they can feel is, uh, well, generally it's really interesting, they have such a resilient body that they don't necessarily uh, have a huge amount of sensitivity around their body, they feel like hey, they can just keep chugging along regardless, but definitely what I've seen in practice is a, is a heaviness, um, they can often get quite congested in their sinuses as well, 
Uh, there's a fatigue and lack of motivation that comes along. And generally, um, the, the, the word that gets used a lot is that word heaviness. So I just feel heavy. I feel a bit stuffy in my, in my, my, my mucous membranes are actually, um, you know, more, just more stuffy and more, clo- more cluttered. And uh, the, the feeling that they're always after is the feeling of lightness. And it's uh, the opposite of that, which is what they really get into is that sluggishness, that heaviness. So that's a good sign uh, for the, the guardians, which are the pure endomorphs and generally the bodies that hold the most amount of muscle and, and fat tissue. We're then going around the circle, we have the diplomats, which is the ecto endomorphs. Uh, and they have a slightly different body again. And generally, uh, they will sense uh, their body being a little bit, um, uh, a little bit, a little bit stressed, a little bit more sensitive than the guardians. And what they'll find is they'll find their body or their brain is overthinking. It does excessive rumination, hard to make decisions and hesitating on a lot of decision making. That's because the gut, which is very important to them, has a huge influence in how they make hormones in their brain that help them get into action. So that's a big one. Uh, generally, fluid retention is a, is a big one as well for the diplomats. They tend to have lymphatic stasis which uh, it can be around the ankles, it can be a bloating through the tummy, it just can be general digestive issues, feeling puffy. Um, it's a, a big sign is that fluid retention. And I, I generally find that there's some big change in the energy levels of these biotrends when they, when they do their detox. Uh, we then have the sensor. Sensors generally, uh, they won't have the mental clarity that they want. They often can get this uh, ashen, more pale look around their face. And that's something that Uh, People who know you will pick up quite quickly or you might even notice in yourself. Uh, Constipation can sometimes be a part of it as well for this body. And uh, often uh, bloating or just digestive discomfort with a little belly sticking out. The the sensor is the ectomorph, the the most delicate body and generally don't have any issues with having excess uh, fat tissue or too much muscle tissue generally. And so when they get that uh, belly sticking out, uh, it's really quite noticeable. Uh, and just brain fog generally is a big one for these guys. So uh, as we go around again, we have the ectomesomorph, which is uh, the crusader. Uh, this body will have lower amounts of mental energy. Their real currency in their body is how clear and sharp their mind is all of the time. So they won't have that crispness and clarity. And I definitely know a few crusaders who have come in quite uh, sh- like uh, foggy and really come out of the detox feeling a lot clearer. Uh, they find that they can't really get answers to their problems. Their brain uh, is, doesn't have that ability to narrow in as quickly. And what we see as well in a, in a body that's stressed and needing detox in for the Crusaders is we see a stiffening in the upper, upper back and neck. You see a lot of tension being held there. And this is to do with um, just the whole body and mind becoming more rigid. They'll become uh, more narrow with their focus. They'll put up some some. Uh, like a shell almost around them so that they can just focus and uh, they become a little bit less trusting. There's a whole lot of psychological things that come along with this as well, where their, their brain just starts to shut down and really just zone in on the only thing that, that they think matters right then. And that's probably work or something like that. And they can be a little bit stubborn and a little bit more flexible at that time. So not only do they become rigid in their, their body, but their mind becomes a little bit more rigid as well. Then we have the activators. Uh, activators really need to expel energy. They need to cassart, they need to do exercise, they need to speak their mind, they need to be in a, in a world of freedom. And if they don't get that, or if their body's storing energy that way, or, or if there's an increase in toxins, uh, they'll have restless nights. Um, they'll be un- unable to sort of, uh, to just sort of settle their brain down through the day. They can often get upper abdominal pain as well, uh, near where the, the bile releases. This is a sensitive area for them through the liver and the bile, particularly in response to high fat foods. So some upper abdominal pain, but just general restlessness and anxiety is a big one. And just a frustration can often come along with the activators. And then we have the smoothies. Uh, they will often have uh, stomach pain as opposed to upper abdominal pain. And uh, generally, the whole idea uh, with this body is that they can really experience fluctuations both in hormones and also in blood pressure. And so this significantly increases. Both their dizziness can increase as a result of like sort of going from lying to standing. Um, Hormonal um, and menstrual cycles can really be disrupted in women. So they can get quite a few symptoms and menstrual pain. And their brain will find it very hard to focus on different things. They'll find that they're quite distracted and they can't focus. then finally, uh, we have the, actually, no, that's all. That's our six. 
So yep. uh, the, when we're talking about uh, each of these groups, obviously everybody's slightly individual and, and the types of foods that you'll throw into these detox are a little bit different. However, um, we do see uh, clusters of signs and symptoms that really relate to, okay, maybe I do need to detox at the moment. Right. And there's so many people that think that those symptoms are just like some, the way of life, like that they're getting older or that um, it's just something that they have to deal with and they don't realize that they could actually relieve those symptoms. So um, that's amazing. Uh, so what are some of the experiences that you've seen some of your clients go through as a result of having a detox? Yeah, I've seen some really incredible things over the last little while. Um, the, uh, classically, detoxification wasn't trained uh, in dietetics and, and it's been through uh, a huge amount of research and working with lots of different fantastic functional medicine practitioners and um, people who really know what, they go, know what they're talking about. Uh, it's enabled me to... I uh, trial some detoxes with my clients, uh, you know, slowly at the beginning, and now I do it regularly with all of my clients just because it's so effective. So we see for the diplomats huge energy increases. They just, their gut, once they're happy, you'd think that having the amount of food that they're having, they wouldn't have energy, but all of a sudden their energy levels go bang, their mind becomes clear. And if we combine that with a few mental things as well around how they plan their day, everything just becomes so much easier to focus on the future and what decision to make to get there. Uh, I've had... Definitely from an activator point of view, um, people with a chronic joint pain for so long uh, and, and that, that joint pain just resolving. Um, we've had uh, like a chronic tendonitis that's been going on for a couple of years just with all the physio in the world and then all of a sudden those symptoms just resolved um, and it wasn't something that we were really expecting. We just thought a detox would be a good idea because their body wasn't feeling great anyway, but we just had some really fantastic outcomes. And just people who haven't been sleeping that well with particular skin conditions um, that aren't necessarily uh, threatening medically, but they're just uh, something that they, they don't like. And just to see sleep improve and to see energy come up in the morning where they're not dragging themselves out of bed first thing and they're actually able to hit the ground running, even if they need a slower start. Some people need a slower start to the morning, but even those people waking up with energy, uh, getting on with their day, skin clearing up, uh, and, and just being blown away at how resilient their body is, you know, how they can go with, with such a small amount of food for a couple of weeks in some cases and just level up and level up and level up and level up all the while becoming more and more in tune with their body. I know a couple of really great examples of just people use the detox every month. Um, if it's suitable, obviously, uh, to, uh, to reset their craving cycle. And as soon as they do, they're a little bit of... Um, a little bit of detox that just says, you know what, I actually don't need this food, I feel good. Uh, and they can then focus on the foods that they really need. So it really keeps them in check. Not to mention uh, sort of the sensors and crusaders who just get that, that little bit of extra clarity if they've had a bigger night, you know, a little party night or something like that, doing something social. Um, really getting their clarity back and just allowing their body to repair a lot faster. Yeah. Wow, well, that's great. Thank you so much, Cam, for being here. Um, we really appreciate you taking the time out of your day. And um, thanks for giving us that, all of that information about the various health types and the detoxes and your experience. And, um, and you know, that you do coaching and all of that sort of thing too. And so for people that need that, then uh, that sort of thing, then they can register for coaching. So that's awesome. Thank you so much, Cam. Thanks for having me, Jules. Happy okay. to help anyone anytime. Yes, beautiful. Love it. Okay, um, we have our next guest that is coming up is uh, Daniela Remy. And Daniela Remy is our uh, Director of Research and Science for PH360. And in her career with health and wellness, she began her career 10 years ago and she's trained as an educator. She has a master's in human development. Um, she began delving into this science on, on the various neurotypes, phenotypes, nutrition, and really the basis for understanding what a personalized uh, protocol is all about. And so she is going, uh, she should be on right now, and she's going to have some awesome uh, information for us. So welcome, Daniela. Hello. Hi. <laughs> nice to see you. Nice to um, see you too, Jules. <laughs> yes. Um, all right. So Dr. Cam provided us with the, an overview of what the best detox is for each 
type. And also for any of you that missed that or thought like, oh, wait, wait, I wanted to write that down. You can find all of that in our personalized detox Facebook group. It's amazing. It's got all kinds of information in it. And um, that is just the www.facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash personalized with a Z detox. Um, so, uh, so Daniela, since, um, since Camp talked about the biotypes, what we'd like to do now is just like delve a little deeper. We want to know more about the science behind all those detox approaches and what's best for each biotype. Okay. Um, so let me then start off with the sensor biotype the more delicate ectomorph. Um, this is a, a type that we want to be able to allow feeling lightedness because that's who they are. They're natural bird-like uh, bodies that you don't want to have too much digestive congestion. So um, a bit of juicing where you don't have a lot of fibrous tissues that have to go through the digestive system, but juices provide lots of nutrients that you can continue to provide the nutrients to the body without weighing the digestive system down. And uh, we only do this for a day, sometimes just a meal. It depends on the condition. If you have somebody who's a little bit more on the underweight side, you don't want to give them too much stress. Essentially, you just want to allow the nutrients to get into the body without the digestive system having to do too much work about that. Um, at the same time, we also don't want the energy stores to be depleted, which tend to be a little bit more on the depleted side for sensors anyway. It's why they need to keep up their energies a little bit more uh, than the opposite, being an endomorph that tends to retain the energy and can kind of go without food longer, even if they don't like to. <laughs> so uh, yes, we don't definitely just keep it for one day. Whereas the other ectomorph, which is an ectomeso blend, that crusader biotype, um, we only do those two days, so it's a little bit more, but we're only going to remove the fats and the proteins, allowing them to have plenty of carbs from fruits, vegetables, and grains. And the reason we remove the fats and the proteins is because we essentially want to take away some of the stiffness that is typical in that body that comes through. Um, and that comes from uric acid deposits. So uh, by removing the fats and the proteins and the purines that come in that, um, so cheeses out and you know meat out just for a little while, um, and then we're going to allow the flexibility to come through, the uh, circulation system to come through, but at the same time, the mental focus is always going to be very important, and we're providing plenty of carbohydrates from fruits, veg, and, and grains, so it's not going to deplete any muscle tissues and make them feel weak or anything, and the brain is going to continue getting all the glucose it needs, because that's actually what it feeds off of. Some people think it's a fat. It's not. The fats protect the myelin sheath around the nerve nervous system and the nerves themselves, um, so the synapse is basically you have a synapse they're here these guys need to communicate right along here and this little wire is protected by fat and that's why we have lots of fat in the crusader healthy diet but just for this little bit we drop all of that it won't harm any of this but it's going to provide lots of energy so these guys communicate these are obviously neurons <laughs> so that's what we end up doing for the crusader um and for the activator so the next if i go up which is the pure mesomorph uh they want to be, you'll want to reduce the fats and the proteins on this one. Uh, what we're going to be doing by that is when you're reducing the fat stores, um, essentially the um, fatty acids that get broken down when you need the energy, also help release a lot of the uh, toxins, heavy metals and things that get stored in fat. They don't really get stored in water, they get stored in our fat and organs. And so when we allow that to release and we're providing the body loads of anti-inflammatory and antioxidant fruits and veg especially, don't forget the veg, those are the important guys, um, we're allowing those releases to happen. Happen. And uh, you'll also probably end up seeing an increase in albumin when a body is full of inflammation, albumin levels are low. So when we're providing anti-inflammatory vegetables, we're allowing that to go back up. So we're actually improving uh, the liver, the kidneys, all the organs that actually detox the body naturally, but we're also improving the circulatory system. 
Um, next on the list is the uh, mixed, so you've got the meso and the endo mix, which is the connector. And for the connector, what we end up doing is we really try to focus on the stomach. That's their Achilles heel. They tend to have stomach issues. They tend to have digestive issues. I am one of them. <laughs> and uh, so what we do is we do smoothies. So that means that you're going to have um, skipped essentially what the stomach does and you're providing the body what the stomach normally creates which is that pulp or liquid um, that then goes into the intestine we're basically already doing that so you're easing up the work that the stomach needs to do but you're still providing tons of nutrients and fiber as opposed to the uh, sensor that doesn't get the fiber the connector you do want to give that fiber um, and the reason is they tend to have a little bit more of a clogged system that you do want to have cleaned through with the fiber and get everything out <laughs> um, but we're going to stick mostly to vegetables and um, one of the reasons I think this is very important uh, there are lots of different vegetables out there carrots are very yummy but the ones we want to put into our uh, smoothies are those green vegetables especially green leafy vegetables because they're full of chlorophyll which is what's going to basically uh, connect with heavy toxins, uh, heavy metals, for instance, and help release that out. So the chlorophyll is very important. Chlorophyll is green. So the greener the smoothie, the better it is. Um, then after that, we're going to get the uh, guardian. So the guardian is the pure endomorph, and they tend to retain a lot of energy. Um, their food sticks into their body a little bit more but essentially I, i'm not sure if cam mentioned this but one of the symptoms that they end up getting is that mucus uh in their body when they need a detox and by providing a, a detox that is very focused on broths um and liquids it's allowing a complete cleanse of the entire system and it's releasing a lot of that mucus buildup. Uh, so there's lots of anti-mucogenic foods that are generally recommended uh, those would be things like parsley and lemon. Um, you end up having, you know, bronchodilators like onion and garlic are bronchodilators. So they really open up the airways. And this is another way that you actually release a lot of, uh, I mean, oxygen goes in, CO2 goes out. And so we're releasing a lot of the, the bad stuff essentially uh, through our breath. And so you want the um, airways to be open, but the airways, just like with us, asthmatics and other people, they get clogged with mucus. And so you want the mucus to go down. So another thing that we do to reduce the mucus is um, taking away some humid foods like uh, oats is humid food. Um, sugar of course <laughs> increases the humidity uh mucus generating foods like cheese and yogurt they create more mucus uh, in the system and those generally get eliminated so you're not going to have um a cream of broccoli soup <laughs> you're gonna have the broccoli soup <laughs> and that's going to do your body a lot of good um next on the list would be the diplomat uh the diplomat is the combination of the endomorph and the ectomorph and they end up uh, they also need lots of vegetables just like the endomorph, but they need a lot more of the chewing and the full vegetables and the fiber that the ectomorph needs. That's why they're kind of in the middle. So vegetables that are chewed are very important for the diplomat. Um, we want to make sure that the intestine, intestinal system gets cleaned out with the fiber. Uh, so that's kind of the, the focus of their protocol. So what we want to do is we want to make sure that the fibers basically create the bulk and start cleaning out their intestines. And that's why they're going to get lots of vegetables, but the vegetables only, as opposed to some of the other foods that would be providing nutrients, but they don't need them as much in this little period of time. So that's what we're trying to do um, as much as we can. The other thing is we're trying to make sure that they are uh, chewing their foods to activate the salivary glands, which uh, release the enzymes that break down starch which is going to help with a lot of those vegetables that they're already breaking down um, and it's also alkalizing which we know is also good <laughs> <That's great. Okay. laughs> Beautiful. and after having done detoxes with quite a few people now I can say personally my experience and then other people's experience is that when you're doing your personalized detox it's so much easier for your body mm. um, but just in the in the off case that there might be something, what are some of the things that people may feel when they're doing the detox? Um, one of the first things that people will usually complain about or feel is cravings. <laughs> people want their foods and that's usually a habit. Um, it, we might wake up every single morning with a cup of coffee and all of a sudden that habit has changed. So if that is a struggle, the way I 
generally recommend somebody overcomes that is to change the habits and change the circumstances that are some of those things. And we do that anyway, if you're going to change your daily habits, becoming aware of what are some of the triggers for the things that, you know, every time I come home, I want something sweet and I open up the fridge. Well, maybe the first thing that you need to do when you come home is water the plants. And now you're no longer in the kitchen. You start changing the way your mind is. When you water the plants, you grab a berry or something. And that, and you see it right there and you start associating a new habit for the habit that you used to have, just as an example. Oh, um, awesome. Another thing that a lot of people sometimes uh, say that they might feel is gas and bloating because there's so much vegetable. And uh, in general, I recommend cooking some of those vegetables. It reduces a lot of the bloat. Raw vegetables can be quite heavy on the stomach if you're not used to eating this quantity. Uh, the people who have been eating vegetables all the time usually don't have a problem. But if it's something that you're starting to feel, try cooking some of the vegetables. It takes away some of the sulfur compounds, for instance, that cause the um, sulfur-like smells. <laughs> So that, that just helps a little bit. Um, yeah. You know, some people, uh, one thing I've noticed for me is that when I'm doing it on my own at home without anyone there, it's a little tougher. And then when I, and what I've noticed is that when I'm at a, one of the, one of the detox retreats or I'm working with people that are in my group and we're all doing it together, that for some reason it seems like it's a little bit easier and it doesn't entail uh, the same amount of, uh, of these symptoms. And so it does, have you noticed that too? Yeah. Um, so, wow, that's fantastic. Uh, so, Daniela, you know, the, the, the science behind all of these personalized detoxes is so incredible. And thank you so much for sharing all that. Um, just as a closing, uh, what I wondered is if there's any reason or time in someone's life when they need to be careful um, when approaching a detox. Yeah. Um there are two main conditions, but I mean, health conditions in general, I, I always recommend somebody check with a health professional and look at the list. Uh, somebody had asked about diabetes, shouldn't be a problem if you are loading yourself with plenty of vegetables, but don't make, for example, fruit rich smoothies that have lots of uh, sugar and will spike your blood levels, uh, blood sugar levels. So definitely check with your health professional what the list is, but these wouldn't cause any uh, problems unless you have hypoglycemia, as in you are uh, creating a caloric restriction on an already low energy kind of body, that might be one of the cases when you would want to have uh, more frequent meals. Essentially, just instead of having, I don't know, uh, one smoothie for breakfast, have a smoothie for breakfast and a brunch. <laughs> um, another one would be uh, low blood pressure. If you have a low blood pressure condition, then it just another one of those things where you might want to supplement some of those calories and keep the energy up and just monitor those calories. But other than that, there's no reason why anybody couldn't cleanse their body by having mainly vegetables or juices or smoothies or carbs or whatever else for a period of time. Yes, and for everyone who joins us in the online detox, you will have recipes and there'll be people with ideas there and places to share and all of that sort of thing. So you'll have everything that you need, all the support that you need um, going on during your online personalized detox. So oh, one thing I definitely want to mention is yes. everybody should definitely stay hydrated. When you're drinking the water, you're peeing it out. And guess what comes out with that is all the stuff that you don't want in your body anyway. So it's very important to get plenty of water. If you're drinking eight cups a day, drink more. Um, not only will it take away any hunger cravings that you might have, although you shouldn't really feel too hungry because your body essentially has what it needs, but just keep drinking and keep your body hydrated. It's good for the skin. It's good for the organs. It's good for everything and it's releasing it. Yeah. So for anyone out there who has a delicate condition or you're not sure, we have personalized health coaches. Um, we have health practitioners that are health coaches and people that can guide you personally through whatever journey that you are on. Because if you're in that condition, it's even more important for you to have a detox, um, but to do it safely. And so just to, for that. So thank you, Daniela. It was awesome to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Yeah. And, uh, so I'm pretty excited to introduce our next guest. Uh, some of you may have yeah. seen her in the detox group or in our Facebook group. Uh, and her name is Katie and she is here uh, to share her real life results of her being a guardian and going on the detox and just 
Katie, you're here, so welcome. <laughs> Hi, I am here. <laughs> Very excited to be here, Jules. Thank you. Yes, and so just we basically we just love to share your story and maybe some some of the things that you experienced or something that you know would be valuable for people that are listening uh, to know. Sure, absolutely. You know, it was really interesting to hear uh, Dr. Cam talk earlier about the guardians and some signs and symptoms of what they need when they need to do a detox and heaviness. So true. Not only did I feel heavy in my body, you know, I was carrying some extra weight, but I did feel heavy in my digestive system and I was having some digestive issues too, but especially mentally, I just felt heavy and it felt like so much effort needed to be put into any little decision or any little action that I needed to do in my life. And so I was so grateful when I went to the PH360 health retreat uh, and I actually got to meet Dr. Cam and Matt Riemann in person, which was like meeting celebrities for me. That was very cool. Uh, and the first thing that they did was recommended a detox to me. Uh, they could tell from my body and the way I was talking and some of the health issues that I was speaking about that a detox would be perfect for me and when they first told me that I was gonna have to go for 10 days on just liquids on warm broths and teas I was a little nervous not gonna lie I'd never done anything like that before and so the love and support that I had all around me which the guardian needs were the nurturers uh, having that during the health retreat was so key. And when I finally completed those 10 days of the detox, I think the biggest, you know, eye opener that came out of that for me was I felt powerful. Like my body went without food, solid food for 10 days. <laughs> like who does that? I didn't even know I could do that. And it just made me respect my body so much more to know that I could actually sustain myself for that long. And not only that, but just to get everything out of my system on just liquids and broths and still have energy to go out and go for a hike and go for a walk and still live. It was such a powerful experience, Jules. That's great. That's so great to hear. I, I happened to be there, so I got to see it firsthand, and it was awesome. Yeah, Katie, and thank you so much for everything you're sharing. Uh, Katie shares all kinds of different videos and um, blogs in our PH360 groups, so you guys can get to know Katie as you go along. Uh, that's great. Um, Katie, is there anything else you wanted to just share with people that are thinking about, wow, should I do a detox or not do a detox? I think what I would share is that the information behind PH360 and the personalized detox is astounding. Like to learn that certain detoxes are not good for other individuals. And I'm also a PH360 health coach and coaching my clients who are different biotypes and biotrends than I am and seeing the results that they're getting by having a completely different detox regime than I go through. It's, it's quite phenomenal. And so it's really, really struck home for me the importance of a personalized detox and what works well for one person isn't necessarily gonna work well for someone else. And that's the beauty of PH360. That's awesome, Katie. Thank you so much for coming on and sharing your story with everybody. It's really, it's so, I just really acknowledge you for the steps that you've taken, for that strength that you've brought out and being such a strong force for personalized health and really making a difference in people's lives. Thank you. Thank you so much, Jules. Happy yeah. to share. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you. Um, wow. Okay. So uh, we've just got, uh, we've had so much good stuff. We've learned from Dr. Cam all about nutrition and Daniela um, about the science behind what's going on. Uh, Katie just shared her story of an actual detox and what it's like. And it would, and what some people would say was, you know, the technically the most challenging of the detoxes, you know, if you're going to go 10 days with just the liquids and she just busted right through it. And it was awesome. Um, for anybody that is 
curious about the the retreats or the live detoxes you're going to hear about that later so don't worry it's coming up and people who want to do the online detox with our community um, as a group you are going to have a very special treat coming up soon too uh, and next up we have miss rebecca morrison she is the co-founder of ph360 a lot of you haven't had a chance to meet her yet um, but with this whole online detox she is the um, beauty and the brains behind it and so we're super excited uh, to bring bex bex is a person whose mission in life is to really help people all over the world to love who they are right now and she carries through with that mission in everything that she does and she works tirelessly um, on all sorts of different projects that are making a difference for so many people so i'd love to welcome rebecca morrison and hi bex thanks for having me here and um Thanks for hosting us, Jules, because this is awesome. There is so much cool information coming out here. And there is, like, with Dr. Cam and with Daniela and with Katie's results, it is so exciting to see all this information about the detox. I'm loving it. So thank you. Of course. So, Bex, we've learned all the science, all this nutrition, and now just what are some practical implementation tips that you can give to people that are out there right now? Um, some people who may or may not have done their health type test yet, so be sure and do your health type test at www.healthtypetest.org. Um, and, Bex, what are some of those tips and tricks? Cool. Well, we have given so much information, which is very cool. But like Jill said, my passion really is the doing. So it's actually getting in there and doing it. And that's why I am so excited about the personalized online detox because it is, it's accessible. It's affordable for everyone. You can get in there and do it. And it gives you a great guideline for actually doing the detox in the comfort of your own home. So I'm super excited about that. But one of the questions that people really come up with, or one of the questions that people always ask, is about finding more recipes for their detox. And so there's a couple of little tips that I can give for that. The first one is, is to find out those fruits and vegetables or grains or whatever it is that you're having on your detox, find out the very best ones for you. So maybe it's the top two or three on your good foods for me list that you can get through your pH 360. And then say, for example, one of them is carrots. Search online for carrot smoothie recipe if you're doing a smoothie detox. And you will come up with thousands of carrot smoothie recipes. I can guarantee it. So it's really easy to search online for recipes. And then when you have one of those recipes, simply leave out the things that aren't on your list or leave out the things that you're not meant to be eating and just keep the things in there that you are meant to be eating. And if you want to substitute something, then you can. Or um, if you just want to have those few items that you can eat in that recipe, then it's going to taste great anyway. I can show you. Yeah, believe me, it's going to taste great. <laughs> but that's one way of doing it. Another way of um, making all those foods, if you're stuck on recipes or if you're, if you're not super creative in the kitchen, a great way of doing it is, which is actually what I do, is taking the first maybe five items from my vegetable list and from my fruit list or from whatever list it is that you are using in your detox. And I go to the store and I buy those five items or 10 items across all the lists. And then I bring them home and that's what I have. And so I make things out of that. So I can put maybe three items in a juice because I'd be juicing as a sensor at a time. Or maybe if I was an activator, I could stir fry all of them in a little bit of veggie stock all together. Or maybe I could stir fry four of them in a little bit of veggie stock all together and put some different spices and some different fresh herbs in there as well. So I only have what is good for me. And that is a, a great way for me to avoid any temptation and not even to be confused about anything either because all I have there is what's good for me. And another little tip for maybe for activators or for diplomats or for crusaders even, when you're making a dressing, you can make a dressing without oil. It's easy. 
trust me. <laughs> but things like using juices are great. Things like using vinegars are fantastic. And things like using lots and lots of fresh herbs in your dressings can make it really moist when you're eating it and really flavoursome too. Now, that's a tip I picked up on the personal health retreat we had in Spain from our chef, Mark. So that one did come from a chef. But there is always something that you can do with your foods. The other key is for the detoxing is that it's not all about the foods. So there are all the other aspects of life that are really important that affect our health in every day. And one of those is our environment. And each of the health types has um, a different kind of preferred environment where their body works best. For example, I'm a sensor and I'm in Mexico at the moment. It is warm, it is hot and it is humid and I wake up feeling so comfortable. It is absolutely magnificent. When I wake up in the cold, if I'm in a cold, dry place, I find it really hard and to get out of bed and I, I'm, not made, but, sorry, I'm not motivated to do much else. So here in my perfect climate, I wake up wonderfully, comfortably. I do my stretching. I'm motivated to get outside and do exercise and my mind works perfectly for the whole day. So each of the health types does have that different preferred environment. So your crusaders, we're talking about something that's still warm, but a little bit fresher with lots of fresh air. With the activators, we want to have something that is drier and warm or dry to hot. With the connectors, we want to have something that is warm, a little bit cooler than the activators, but sunny. Get that sun in there for the, for the connectors. For the guardians, we want to keep them nice and cool. And then the diplomats, we want to make sure there's some moisture in the air, but they can range from being a cool moist to a warm moist. So the key with the environment is to really take stock of where you are at the moment. And if you can, go on a holiday, go on a vacation and do a, come, come and do a detox and get into your perfect environment and really see and really experience how that makes you feel. But if you can't do that, then try something like, if you need to have more moisture in the air, try a humidifier or try something like, hanging a wet sarong over the window or a wet towel over the window so the breeze comes through the sarong or the towel and puts some moisture through the air. Things like putting the air conditioner on if you need it to be a little bit cooler. Or if you don't have an air conditioner, hop out to the shopping center for a little bit and hang out in the freezer aisles for a little while and get cool there. It's about your environment. It doesn't matter how you get your environment, just make sure your body is nice and comfy. You might even wanna to go to a sauna if you're in a cold environment and you really need to have a hot, dry environment, then hop into a sauna and really get that heat going through your body. There's heaps of different things that you can do to make your environment at home one that is much more conducive to your health, and much more supportive to your health too. So there's a couple of little tips there. Oh, that's great, Bex. That's really great. And um, there are people that are going to get to see a lot more of you when they join up with the online uh, detox. Uh, the Personalized Detox is an awesome program uh, that we created with all sorts of things in it. Can you just give people like a little taste, a little flavor of like what can they expect if they join the online detox? Absolutely. Like I said earlier, it's all about the doing. So we give away lots of information, which is fabulous. And we love to give people information. But some people, as we know from different health, different health types, some people need a little bit more support and a little bit more guidance. So the online detox is there so that you can do it at home. It gives you suggestions for recipes. It gives you suggestions for workouts, for mindfulness activities. It even suggests different apps for different things, depending on which health type you are. And it gives you a really specific daily schedule uh, for the things to do and the things to eat during your detox as well. So it's a really good supportive guideline. And of course, with that, there's the online um, detoxing community as well, where you can chat with other people and you can get your questions answered or you can get inspired or you can get motivated or you just talk to people who are doing a detox at the same time as you. So the online detox is all there to be really accessible for people so that you can actually use this information, put it into practice and see the results at home. 
I know, it's so awesome and it's beautiful. And um, for anybody really curious about that, you guys can run and take a look at it if you really want to. Um, we're gonna put the link in the chat box, but for those of you who are listening to this, it's retreats.ph360.me forward slash detox. And you'll get to learn more about how you can go the next step uh, beyond um, just doing it on your own because there's a whole community of people here to support you. Um, Rebecca and the team are all creating videos and um, all kinds of experiences for people to have while they're doing their detoxing. And it's just really amazing what you've created, Bex. I mean, Yay. and it's gorgeous. It is. It is so fun and I love it. And I'm yeah. so excited for people to come in and detox and get healthy and so it's all about health and happiness. That's what we're here for. Yes, yes, that's beautiful. And on that line, we have another guest, a really uh, beautiful woman who just came to our Spain retreat, Heather. And she's going to be on next. And uh, Heather uh, came to a full out immersion revitalized retreat, which is all of these amazing foods prepared by our gourmet chef who's been flown in, a fellow who's prepared foods for the queen. And Heather chose during this, at the encouragement of our um, team, our PF360 team, she chose to do a detox during this program. And um, she, I, she's here with us, I believe Heather's here, and I'd I'm love here. to introduce you to Heather. She Hi. Came, uh, and just, Heather, you know, we just would love to hear a little bit about, um, you know, that choice, about how you, uh, your experience of being on the detox and what you've been experiencing since then. That would be beautiful if you could share that. Absolutely. I would love to. Um, so I actually came on the retreat not feeling very well at all. Um, I was actually um, working through some health issues. I've been battling um, autoimmune issues for um, many years, more than, than 10, 15 years. And I was having um, some flare-ups at the time. And even though I would have loved to have had all the beautiful food that Mark um, fixed, I got, well, I got Sunday dinner, so that was nice. But um, it was so worth going on the detox because um, not only have all of my symptoms gone away, um, and this, was, this has been about five weeks now, so I'm still um, exploring the wonderful side effects, the good side effects of being on a detox. But um, and not only have my autoimmune issues gone away, but my allergies that I've been battling for many years, um, I, and, and a wonderful side effect was that I actually lost 18 pounds in four weeks. So it's been tremendous. I'm exercising again um, for the first time in, in years. Um, I feel more like the Heather that I know that I'm supposed to feel like. Um, I, last year, I, I spent my birthday in bed because of my allergies and, um, and I, I got up and I'd exercised the morning of my birthday. So um, it's, it was the best decision I ever made. And I'm still continuing to um, plug away at my special detox that was designed just for me. <laughs> well, that was just for you, wasn't it? <laughs> yep. That's awesome, Heather. Wow, that is great. So I, thank you so much for sharing that with everybody. Um, and it's so beautiful to see you and see the results that you've experienced. And just really, I've known you for the last couple of years as a member of our, of our group. And you, uh, the difference is just like, I just may almost bring tears in my eyes. It's so yeah. amazing. So thank you. Yeah. I'm so thank happy. You. I'm so thank happy you. That you <laughs> that that's the choice that you made. So, and that's possible for other people, for you guys out there listening. If you're dealing with uh, symptoms that are indicating that, you know, you could be on lots of medications, maybe you might have other issues. It's important to check with your doctor, like we've said, and we have health professionals that can work with you. Heather started her detox with health professionals. And so that work with our PH360 team in our uh, revitalized retreats, which is not a detox retreat, but you'll get, you can learn more about those later too, if you want to. So thank you so much, Heather, for being here. And 
Love you. And um, we have another special guest for everybody. Um, we are uh, finishing up with uh, an amazing man who has dedicated his life to transforming health on the planet. Uh, that uh, seriously, I've, I've known him for the last three and a half years, and um, that man works tirelessly. He and Rebecca work. They're the co-founders of PH360. They are uh, relentless in their quest to spread the message of personalized health. Uh, we've created an amazing team of healers, of people uh, who are wonderful. You're going to get a chance to meet some of our team and our healers in the Facebook group. We're going to be posting some introductions so you get a chance to meet them. But at this time, I would just love to have you come on, Matt. There you are. And share with us about a little bit more about the mission and the perspective of personalized health, personalized detox, and why we're doing what we're doing. Jules, thank you so much for hosting this beautiful conversation today for starters and for everyone listening into this, whether it's live or on a replay. Thanks so much for your time for being here because this is a really important conversation and all the things that we do uh, are all focused around personalized care. And it's such an important conversation, especially in this day and age, we've been through a, a big evolution in, in the humanity where we've gone through a lot of generalized conversations that's helped us to a certain point in time. Uh, with evolution, as we're going so rapidly, we really realize now that there's a, a big uh, understanding that we need to have, and that's in personalization of, uh, of us and the way that we approach health, the way we approach education, the way we approach our environment and many other con conversations around that. So this is a really important time for us to realize what is really common sense, that we're all different. There's seven and a half billion people on the planet. Not one of us is the same. We have different genes, but we all have different environments and different lifestyles. And so all the time we're changing and all the time we're very, very different to everyone else. And so it's a very common sense conversation that, of course, someone who's seven foot tall would eat something different to someone who's five foot tall. Uh, someone who's you know, weighing 300 pounds compared to someone who's weighing 50 pounds would be eating different things, would be ex exercising or being active in different ways. It's often a common sense conversation, but we just don't think about it in that way. And so the message that we bring here is all about personalizing things. It's about finding out who you are and finding out about what's right for you. And when you know what's right for you and who you are, then you can do things to be healthy for you. So that's really our conversation that we're having. And uh, it really is a huge way that we can have a big impact on uh, a lot of people in the world. And we are obviously looking to make a huge impact in the world. And the world starts with all of us as individuals. There's, again, seven and a half billion of us. If we all can look after ourselves, then that suddenly means that we've got communities of people that are healthy and then cities of people who are healthy and states and countries and, and our entire world that gets there. So it does start with personalized health and that's why we're here having the conversation today. That's awesome. That's great. Yes. And so um, like, how did this all start? Like give us a little of the vision that you have, like, well, what, why are we doing this in the first place? Well, the big conversation that we're having is about eliminating chronic pain and disease. And that's a, a fairly big conversation. So we might not cover all that today in the webinar here, but uh, I guess working backwards from a few steps is how do we actually end up with a pain-free world? And uh, we need to obviously look at prevention and how, like how we can avoid actually having those circumstances or those conditions that might exist uh, in our space. And that's all about understanding who we are and how we can navigate through life to avoid those things that might make us sick or might give us disease. And we can now track that back uh, very, very specifically to certain environmental conditions or factors like the foods we eat, the exercise we do, uh, pollutions and toxins in the air and how we actually process and metabolize those, how we can use other foods and activities and environmental uh, circumstances to help uh, process those in different ways if we are. But it's, it's this dynamic rebalancing of us as human beings that we always want to talk about. And this is a concept I'm sure everyone's heard us talk about with epigenetics and personalizing the health is that we're constantly having these attacks and uh, these rebalancings happening from us from all angles in our body. And maybe some days we don't get so much sleep. So if we don't get as much sleep, it'd be nice to know what sort of foods are good for us to eat if we can't sleep as well. Or if our diet hasn't been so good, what sort of exercise can we do to rebalance? So our body's always about homeostasis and always about rebalancing. Uh, we don't live in bubbles. And of course, you know, as, as much as PH60 can give you some very clear recommendations, life happens. And so it's all about rebalancing things. And one of the things that we really understand and why the conversation we're having today is all about detoxing. We understand there is a lot of toxins in the environment. If you go back even 100 years ago, uh, before we had, or you know, 200 years ago, especially before the industrial age came in, it was a very, very different place to what it is now. We have so much in terms of toxicity that exists uh, in our environment. Wherever we are in the world, there's so many toxins that are available now. 
And how do we actually process that? Well, it's a different conversation now to, again, the humans a couple of generations ago, uh, and it will be very different again to, to those in a couple of generations' time. So we've designed these specific detox protocols to firstly understand that it needs to be personalised. Again, the message that's out there is very generic. You can go online and just Google how to do a liver flush or a gallbladder cleanse or whatever. But again, we understand that those will help some people and actually be detrimental for some people. Just like you know, the foods that we talk about with PH360, some people, carrots and kale and tomatoes might not be so good for some people, whereas they might be really healthy for other people. So these are conversations that we now know. This is backed by science and medicine. We know that everybody is different. And detoxing is actually exactly the same in the fact that it's very, very different. So the principles are the same for everybody, but the particulars are different for everyone. And so this is where we've just heard a lot about the science, a lot about the nutrition behind it, and a lot about the simple ways that we can implement this into our life. It's a really, really incredible conversation. So I thank you all to the speakers that have come on today. And again, for hosting this webinar, for those who are listening in, because it's incredible to now know that for us, we all have an individual way to detox as well. And for some of us, it's more important to detox our nervous system. For some, it's our gallbladder. For some, it's our liver. For some, it's our digestive system. But all of us are going to benefit from a detox at some stage. And we'll have different types of detoxes we'll do, like different foods and different things we do. But we'll have different times of the year that we'll need to do it. We'll have different frequencies of how long we want to detox for. So these are, these are conversations that, are, again, are common sense. It's like, oh, great. That makes sense when you say it out loud but we don't think about it usually. So the importance and the, the reason for this webinar and for these conversations we're having about detoxing is to say, hey, did you realize that this is personalized too? This personalized detoxing is the conversation that we're having and it's different for everyone. It's different for you. So it first starts out by finding out what your health type is. So there's six different health types. Again, we won't go into that today, but go and take the test if you haven't already. It's healthtypetest.org. Very simple. It's a three-minute test. It's free. Just go do it. And once you know what your health type is, then you can understand about how best to detox for your health type. And there's so much free information out there. You can go in the Facebook group that the links are here. Uh, you can go and check out uh, retreats.ph360.me forward slash detox where there's so much information on there. It's just crazy. So just go and check it out. It's really easy to do. And it's an absolutely incredible way that we can bring this conversation to everyone to help them be healthy. And that's why we do what we do is to help actually everybody on this planet to become healthy and happy. So that's a little bit of the context about the detox and why we're doing what we're doing from a detox and it needs to be personalized. And that's really our message for you today. Yeah, thank you so much, Matt. Thanks for, thanks for being here. I, I'm, I'm so happy that you uh, had the time. I know that you're getting ready to do a healing retreat uh, in Sedona. And thank you for making that time to be here and to share with everybody. Of course, Jules. I think it's a really important conversation uh, for all of us to be able to hear. And the perspective of personalization is really just so important. And we often talk about epigenetics from an educational point of view so that everyone can understand that it's not just your genes that dictate your future. In fact, it's you know, more, far more your uh, environment and lifestyle that will influence the way that your genes work. Your genes don't actually have any function as per se. It's the things that interact with them that uh, cause them to come alive. And so we understand very much through PH360, the uh, technology that said it's able to help you understand what's right for your body that at any point in time. And it literally is like a translation tool. It's like your body talking to you. Uh, you don't have to go and see the, the, the experts anymore. Uh, this is actually your body is the expert and can tell you exactly what you need. And that's what PH360 is. Now we're just bringing this into a whole new conversation with detoxing. And it uh, really is important, um, I think, to, for everyone to understand that. Uh, that's why we do what we do. We're here to actually help people. We're here to make sure that you can understand and we really believe that everybody has the right to know all this information and uh, understand what's right for you to be healthy and happy because it is a confusing time. It is very overwhelming what you hear with all the marketing hype that's out there. And so we just want to like help you with any confusion, any overwhelm to say, Hey, you know, we, we often talk in PH360. Do you do the paleo diet? Do you do the juice fast? Do you do the Mediterranean diet? Do you, should you be a vegan or vegetarian or where do I start? And we're saying, Hey guys, everybody's right. We just need to figure out which one is best for you at this moment in time. And that may change over time as you change. And so it's the same with detoxing at the moment. We're just having that conversation say, hey, you're different. Take the time to find out who you are and take the time to find out how to detox and how often to do it and follow some very simple steps. And so we have, uh, I, I can't remember if you shared this already, or Jules, but we have an incredible live program, like a living live program for detoxing, which I'm really, really excited about. I'm going to actually personally be there and I hope that people can join us for that. Uh, it'd be an incredible experience. And uh, I also um, understand that uh, there's a great uh, full immersion experiences. We're just about to start one, as you shared, uh, starting tomorrow actually here. And we have those all over the world to come and uh, participate in. But also we have an incredible online detox. So mm -hmm. if you haven't been there and checked out the online detox, it's an absolute no brainer. Like if anyone's listening to this conversation, do yourself a favor, just go and do that. Uh, it's incredible. And I know Jules will share a bit more about that in a minute, but 
uh, there's there's no reason not to get healthy right now. It's just so cheap, so affordable, and just just go and do an online detox if nothing else to start with. And um, you know, it's 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 amazing to see what's possible when we took look at personalised medicine, look at personalised health, and and uh, a few people have been on. And thank you, Katie, and thank you, uh, Heather, for coming on, and sharing a bit about your stories. There's so many people that have just had remarkable transformations for what you'd assume that's uh, you know, irreversible conditions or diseases, but also people who are healthy to just get so much more energy to sleep better, to sort out their bloating and digestion. Uh, you had to have better memory, to better focus, better attention, to reduce and eliminate their pain. Just incredible transformations just by doing detoxes alone, let alone by then following PH360 and understanding which foods are best for you specifically on your journey and knowing that that changes as you change. So it's an incredible time to be alive and really exciting, I think, to be at a be in these conversations right now so again thank you so much for all listening into this uh, webinar i hope you've enjoyed it and i hope you can come and join us live or i hope you can at least take action online to to improve your health because that's why we're here and once you do that i hope you can help someone else as well because we really believe that once we can share this information out there that we're, we can benefit from that and we're able to help others and assist others on their journey too so thank you so much for joining us and uh, jules back to you thank you yeah thank you matt and that's really it you guys because we saw such an amazing difference in people when we did the detoxes on our retreats that, that we just knew that this was something that was so vital and so important to bring to people. And so um, I'm so excited to be able to present this. It's a beautiful program uh, for anybody who hasn't looked at it yet. Just to give you the, the link one more time. Uh, it is retreats.ph360.me forward slash detox. And of of course, for those of you who are listening to this uh, particular uh, webinar, we have a really special, um, a really special situation for you um, that we're super excited to offer you. Um, so, first of all, uh, I wanted to share about our live detox retreats that are coming up. Uh, we have an amazing group of healers that are coming to Mexico uh, that, and Matt, as he said, is going to be one of the people coming. Bex is going to be there. Um, Daniela's coming for a short time. We can't have her there too long because she's got so much to do as far as being our uh, director of science. Uh, and there's just going to be an amazing crew of people. You'll get a chance to meet people who come on our uh, retreats as healers, as practitioners, um, and they're just really, truly amazing. Um, and like I said, in the Facebook group, we'll be introducing many of those to you over the next few days so you get a chance to see them. Uh, and so uh, the live detox is happening and you can check out all the details at retreats.ph360.me forward slash detox. We have a really special um, offer for anyone who wants to come to that detox. Um, you saw that the prices um, for the detox for a single are uh, $19.97 and for someone sharing a room are $14.97. But for you, for you uh, being here and just for the next 24 hours, if you put in this code, you will have a chance to take off $500 from each one of these. And that's reducing the price by 20 to 25% um, or more, I'm sorry, 25 to more percent. Um, so if you would like a single room, you would put in the code DETOX, all capital letters, 1497. And if you want to do a twin share, you'd put in detox 997. Now I have to tell you that there is a limited opportunity for you to come to the Mexico retreats that's coming up. So you definitely, if you're thinking, oh my gosh, I just want to do this detox right now and get this complete, you definitely want to come in and, um, and book that as quickly as possible. And for those of you who are guardians and uh, diplomats, if you're uh, in the uh, in the mode of like you want to come for the whole two weeks of your detox, then you can just book two weeks and you can use the code for both of those. Uh, otherwise, you can do one week with us and get all really solid and then you can go home and we'll give you full instructions to do the second week at home. Um, but if you can make it, it would be awesome to have you be with us in Mexico. And it is going to be a very special retreat. Our team's gathering. We're working on projects. We're going to be there doing um, the, the health-breaking, completely uh, global activities that we do in the world. And we're going to be there together to collaborate and to cause 
um, that transformation in health on the planet and you'll get to be there with us and doing the detox. So it'll be a really amazing experience. It's very special. This, this Mexico detox is a very special opportunity. Now, for those of you who just want to come and do a detox, you can still use those codes and you can book in one of our locations that are coming up in 2018, 2019 around the world, places like Thailand or Croatia, Mexico in the United States, Portugal and Bali. So that's, those are the locations coming up in the next little while. So you definitely want to go in and, um, and book those. This price is amazing and is is a very short limited time offer for the um, special prices only for the next 24 hours for that special one. Now after that, you can still get a good price because the normal prices are even a little bit higher, but you can still get a good price for the next seven days. Um, so it's just $500 more for the next seven days if you want to go ahead and book that. Um, and as a bonus for anybody who books the online live, I mean, sorry, the live detox for anybody that books that, you also um, will get uh, to do, uh, you'll also get a certificate for $2,500, no, $2,000 uh, for a, an immersion retreat that you can use anytime in the future. So it's an amazing deal. Now, okay, Let's just say you're sitting out there and you're like, oh my gosh, I can't do this live detox for whatever reason. Well, this is a no brainer, you guys. Like Matt said, join the online detox because it's a $97 annual value. But right now, for every one of you who join, you can click on retreats.ptree60.me forward slash detox and click that you'd like to join the online detox and you get it for only $27. $27 for you to be supported, for you to have an amazing experience, for you to learn everything about your detox, not just the foods, but the exercises, the, the everything that you need to know to have a successful detox. You'll be 100% supported in our Facebook group and be able to do it with people from around the world. It's so amazing to share that experience with others and to share your successes, to share your challenges, whatever's going on for you, you'll be able to share it in the group. And so we really encourage you to take the time right now to go and book that $27 because right now, if you book that $27, you have that as a lifetime. $27 for a lifetime of online detox this very moment. Now, if you're listening to this later, and let's just say that you heard this, this, uh, this, this at a later time, uh, then you would need to send a note to us. <laughs> You might need to send a note to us at detox at ph360.me um, to speak with us about uh, what might be happening for that. Um, all right. So uh, let's see. We've got, I think that that's pretty much it for everybody here. And, um, and uh, for all of you, I can't really, uh, you know, see you. You're out there in webinar land. And um, I just wanted to say how much we love you, how awesome it is that you're part of our community. I want to acknowledge you for being change makers in the health field, that you're the kind of person that would spend this time listening about this. This is something so important. We appreciate you sharing this with everyone you know. Please get this out there. We've made it so affordable that anyone can do it. It would be, someone would be crazy not to do this for the price that we've got it out there for right now. And so please share this with people. There's so many people who experience their life at half speed or quarter speed of what they possibly could that they're on medications, that they're experiencing um, low energy, that they're not sleeping at night, that they are overweight, that they're having troubles, that they're grumpy. There's all kinds of things going on, you guys, with people that you love. So share this message. This message is so important for everybody to hear. 
And thank you, thank you, thank you. We so love you guys. Um, you're like our health ambassadors. You're, you're change makers for the world. So let's together join hands. Let's get this out in the world and really give people, let them experience what it feels like to be pure, to be clean, to be cleared, to be completely 100% themselves without any additives that weren't asked for and really get to experience. And they'll be like, wow, I had no idea that this was even possible. So thanks a lot for being here. We love you guys. We look forward to assisting you in any way that we can. We're 100% here for you. If anybody has a question or wants to um, ask, has any concerns or needs support in any way regarding any of the programs that we've talked about here, you can write us at retreats at ph360.me and we will support you and 100% uh, we're here for you. All right, so thank you so much for being here and uh, have a wonderful day. Share, share, share. We love you guys. Mwah.